hey guys so welcome back to another video and today we will not do the usual stuff that i always do in this video i'm gonna show to you how to download a mod or maps from steam workshop rusted warfare mods i'm gonna show to you the function of the app the instructions on how to set this thing up and the requirements so after you open the program you will be met by these two window the main window and the uh, help window so what would you gonna do is to pick a mod from steam uh, for example is this one i'm gonna copy the link of this then i'll paste it here and hit the download file it also depends on your internet connection by the way so let's just wait until this thing finished. There we go. So you just need to locate the file path of the file that you've downloaded. In my case, 3417671543. So first locate the folder which in the uh, downloads folder you will see this steam dl folder here then the mod id of your of the mod once you've clicked it you will already see the zip file containing the mod file so this program need a special application named steam cmd so if you don't have that yet you can download it from my program just click download steam cmd you will be redirected automatically to a website and then it would download the file so once you've opened the archive the zip file create a steam cmd uh, steam cmd folder in your desktop all in lowercase and then just extract the exe file in the folder once you've done that just paste the uh, mod link you've like to download let's wait on your first setup this would usually take a long time it also depends on your internet connection so let's patiently wait there we go as you can see it's downloading the necessary stuff for this program to work okay so you will normally see this error pop up here but it's uh it's fully set up the steam cmd just requires a another app to be opened but i don't uh inst i don't install that because it is not necessary to download we will just wait here there we go so it after the uh setup it would also download the mod that you like just uh, go in your downloads folder, Steam DL. Then remember the Steam ID, and yeah, this is the uh, file. So after the setup, you could now download any mod that you like. Uh, for instance, this one right here. Let's just wait. it normally takes this long it also depends on your internet connection like i said earlier there we go now navigate to that folder again remember the mod id and there you go the mod the requirements of the program was stated in my uh, repository which you could download the program there just go on releases 
click this version 1.0 first release. Then the two files right here. So the requirements of this program, you must have at least a Windows with 64-bit system. I recommend Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we have these two versions here, Prototype 2 and Portable. Prototype 2 is 150 MB. And before you ask why it's that big just for a mod downloader, because the uh, this app was made from my PC that uses .NET Framework 8.0. And since most of the uh, older systems doesn't have this framework, they use .NET Framework 4.4 and above. So I put all the necessary uh, functions of .NET Framework 8.0 in the app, so that's why it's 150 MB, so it could work on older devices. Now this one, portable, it's roughly, uh, it's only roughly 220 kilobyte. Because most of the uh, modern systems today already has this uh, 8.0 net framework. That cover ups the uh, entire video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And this is just a test app that I've released. Uh, feel free to comment your feedback on the comments below. And I'll put the download link below.